Welcome, welcome to today's Bitcoin and crypto update. This is Ines here from Small Cap Big Gains. So, oh, what's been happening in the market lately? Uh, we saw Jack Miller yesterday at the Bitcoin conference giving his updates regarding Strike, integrating with the world's largest point of sale providers. So that's actually quite been amazing. And what Jack is doing, I believe he's probably the next Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk for Bitcoin. So this guy is under 30, he's only 27 years old. And what he's been able to achieve lately is phenomenal. So this is definitely not stopping. He's, he says the company has partnered with three of the world's largest payment providers shopify ncr and blackhawk networks to enable bitcoin payments at stores throughout the country and this will most probably be a global rollout in the future you can go to your mcdonald's you can go to any shop online to pay with bitcoin really cutting out banks cutting out visa mastercard any of the bigger institutions in the banking system so this is going to be massive for bitcoin uh, we didn't really see a, a spike in the Bitcoin price as such um, when he spoke last night. So we're still in this downwards consolidation pattern. With the last time we had the update, Bitcoin was around the $47,000 level. And I did mention that's going to become key resistance. We saw on the 30th of March, Bitcoin subsequently came down slightly. And, and we're in this corrective phase at the moment. So very important, there was a symmetrical triangle and we broke through and now we're on the support, long-term support, which Bitcoin needs to hold and reclaim. So below 42.625, I would say we may even go test 41.723, even the lows of this support channel at about 40,800. But as long as we can keep this region in, as support, it should be good for Bitcoin. So now looking at USDT dominance, you can see we had this beautiful break and that led to this nice old rally that we had recently. We made a structure where we formed support and now we went up to find previous resistance. So that in all is, is good. We are just working off the overbought levels, but very important that we should not break that level. Let me just quickly see what that specific level is. It's at the 4.2 odd percent. You can see previously that was resist or support, support there, it broke. Now it's becoming resistance. So that needs to hold on if we get a break. Previously, that was also support. If we get a break, usually it retests this region of 4.4%. And that may bleed out a little bit more. So that's important to keep an eye on. Also, when we look at total three on the daily, you can see clearly we had this marked out before. There was resistance. We had a slight break of the trend, but we couldn't close above the 200 moving average. And that really comes to a pricing point that we need to close above $824 million. And we couldn't sustain it, but now it's normal. This is a normal retrace in a bull new cycle. So we had the one, we had the two, we're finding support right there. And now we know usually the third phase is the bigger phase in this run up. So just working it off, if we can maintain these levels, I do think next week may be a, a good bullish week for cryptos in general. Really important when we look at the DXY is we know this has been a crucial level in the past on the 702 and the 786 Fibonacci retracements. And this is now key level at 99 to 100. If we break through, then the dollar may strengthen a little bit more. Also keeping Bitcoin or alts at the specific levels or draining it a little bit more. So if we break that, uh, it's going to be important to see what the price and the... So we can see on the nine hour and on the six hour, we are really becoming overbought in those areas, which may mean that we can find any anytime a, a sort of a doji, a doji candle or any specific candle that may be a reversal in the dollar. And that would be important for us to come back and people finding 
confidence again in cryptos uh, to, to put their money back into crypto or to into the stock market again, that we can see a relief rally. Now, I just want to have a look at Doge. Now, we know uh, Elon Musk has bought a stake in Twitter. Everyone is aware of it and the possibilities that he can make anything with Doge regarding Twitter for payments. He's now the bigger shareholder. So for Doge, I do think it's in a bullish structure. It's, it's in a buy zone at the moment. There's a stop loss. Should we really break below it? So it's a risky trade in the current environment where we are. But if you know where to find good setups, come to Small Cabby Gains. Small Cabby Gains, we've got a lot of trades going on. The guys in the in the memberships are making good money. And, and this is uh, the analysis that we bring in Small Cap Gains to really find coins that's going to outperform the market. And also, if you look at Kyber Networks that we've had a few weeks ago, we are now coming to a, a target of T3 at $4.14, where these were our entry levels. And now it's almost up 115%. So currently 104%. Okay, so head over to Bitcoin TAF. Get an affiliates link, register your free account, go to products. Once you're in products, you can select small cap gains to make use of our, of our quick picks, our telegram announcements. We've got weekly webinars and updates. So that's very exciting for our members. You can select the six months or the 12 months membership where we currently have a 10% off discount coupon. Once you click buy, go to this page. All you do here. You enter fantasy, you apply your coupon code, and there's 10% off. So make use of this opportunity. We still have a lot of uh, upside in, in the crypto market. You just need to know where to find those, those good coins and the setups that's going to outperform Bitcoin. And this is an amazing time. And make use of this. You usually get one, one or two big opportunities in your life, and crypto is only there for mass adoption. It's just going to get bigger and bigger. We saw all the announcements at the Miami conference and the future for Bitcoin in general looks fantastic. We can see we're really just testing those supports on the moving averages and we have to get a high back above 45 and make a new high above $48,000 for continuation. And then I do see us coming into this box. The 51 to 53 level will be a, a crucial box for Bitcoin to get into next. And then we'll reassess from there. So thanks for tuning in this week. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, share this for your friends and turn on that notification bell. We will see you next week. Keep well, guys. There has never been a better or more critical time to become a member. Make the move now to small cap big gains. Your portfolio will thank you for it.